Welcome back. We now introduce you to the talented and beautiful Korean American soprano opera singer Hannah Kim, who has been captivating millions of people around the world with her angelic voice. Her amazing talents have taken her around the world, performing with renowned musicians and composers such as Andrea Bocelli and the legendary Academy Award winning film composer John Williams. Alice Kim gets a chance to talk to Hannah about her career and might even get a private singing lesson from her. Hi, it's Alice Kim here. We're checking in at Garden Grove and I'm about to meet a lovely lady. She has a beautiful and angelic voice and she's performed internationally with some of the most world famous classical musicians. and introduce yourself to our viewers. Okay, um, I'm Hannah Kim, and um, I'm a classically trained soprano, and I'm also a adjunct faculty at North Orange County Community College District, and I also teach privately voice and piano. When did you know about your vocal talent? Well, I didn't know that I had a voice. I always liked to sing, but I didn't know that I had a decent voice until I uh, auditioned for a high school choir mm -hmm. and I had a lot of friends who were singing in the choir and they asked me to try out and I was like oh I don't know if I really want to but they were like oh I should just try out so I did and um, when I when I sang the choir director said where have you been all this time <laughs> yeah so I think that was uh, like my first public validation that I had a decent voice mm -hmm. but even then I wasn't the best singer um, but I like to sing and I think that's how I began. Did you have any musical background before uh, yeah, singing? Yeah, I started piano, I think I was three or four and so I continued to play so I thought if I did anything musical I'd be a pianist. I never thought I'd be a singer. Mm. So that came later. So you've performed in France, you've had recital, a recital in Korea, you've mm -hmm. toured with Andrea Bocelli. Mm -hmm. He's very big name. Yeah. And um, even worked with John Williams, who's a, a composer. I, I know him because um, he was a composer for Jurassic Park, one of my favorite, <laughs> yeah. one of my favorite movies. <laughs> How is that experience like? Not a lot of people, I think, are able to say that they've done all those things. Uh, yeah, I mean, it wasn't did. it wasn't an easy path. Like, with that industry comes a lot of rejection you have to face. So you have mm. to have a very thick skin mm. um, because you re get rejected much more than you get accepted. Um, but you just keep trying, and sometimes you need luck. Um, and and, but I think as long as you develop your craft and, and you work on your voice and your, your talent, I think, I think it'll take you somewhere. <laughs> How did you feel when you were performing with some of these big namers? I mean, you, you were probably performing for thousands and I don't know how many people, but mm -hmm. you probably were performing for a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, it's exciting. It's, it's really exciting, but actually, prefer performing for a smaller group of people. Oh, okay. Because I like I like seeing their faces. Mm -hmm. I like them seeing my face. I like connecting and communicating that way. Mm -hmm. When you're in a good state of mind and when you're really on your game, it feels like you're in a different world. Mm -hmm. It feels like you feel if you feel connected to your audience mm -hmm. and you feel like they're really getting what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Um and it can't it's kind of ineffable in that you can't really describe it. You can't describe like this is what it is mm -hmm. because it's like it, it's a more visceral experience, mm -hmm. and, the, and the feeling you're left with that after mm -hmm. it, it's it's very it fills you. It really fills your soul. Mm -hmm. You are Korean. Mm -hmm. I'm Korean. We have the same last name, but a lot of Koreans have the same last yes. name as Kim. <laughs> 
Um, so how, what do you do to keep connected with your heritage, mm -hmm. our heritage? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was uh, born in Korea um, and our family immigrated oh, okay. to the States when I was nine years old. Um, so when I went back to perform, um, it was really meaningful because I sang a set of Korean art songs and I have performed them for an American audience before, but being able to um, sing to the Korean people without a translation and being able to connect with them in that way it was really special. It was a really meaningful experience for me. Hannah, I'm going to ask you if you can sing for me and our viewers, and maybe I can get a quick little mini lesson from you okay, today. Sure. That's okay. How about we go over to the piano? Okay, sure. I definitely I got chills. Thank you. And viewers, I'm sure you're not going to be able to experience the actual voice right in front of you. It, it's such a different experience. I wish you were here listening with me. That was so beautiful. Thank you. Uh, let's do some warm ups. We're going to do ah, and make sure that you keep yourself held lifted all throughout the five notes. Even that was beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. let's do. Ah, Keep the line uh, legato, meaning smooth. Okay, try that. Oh, let's do Ready, and. Good. I want you to use your hand and go oh, as if it's you're singing a line instead of notes. Yeah, that's much Whoa, better. Yeah. That was different. Yeah, that was much different. Yeah, that was good. This is what I love about our program, Asian Voices. It gives a chance for Asian American notable figures, just like Hannah, to share her story and the struggles and challenges that she has faced, but end up becoming really successful and giving inspiration and hope to others. Until next time, this is Alice with Asian Voices.